I think um, making music is for me one aspect, um, and there are other things inside it um, which bring me to the music. It can be um, love <laughs> or the death of a person. Uh, everything what um, feels intense in in a way um, is always inspiring me for music. And um, it's like a picture, like a metaphor in the language for me, oh, yeah. um, a musical metaphor. Yeah, that's what I, I think it's, um, each musician would say that, but um, I made it to a, a program and uh, yeah, it's like, it's like a metaphor for me. Yeah, but in a musical way. Mm. Yeah, it's it's hard because it's, of course it's ad abstract, but um, I think I can say that every mo intense mood um, becomes to music in the future, mm -hmm. and I have to carry it in me, and then will be the moment it will come that it becomes to music. music is um are my own, comp own compositions but i i really like to make arrangements of um music i like um i am um, like composing like um you know this um you know bach tune ave maria oh yeah you yeah. know took this beautiful prelude and um composed the melody edited it and um a new piece was born and I like this way of composing to, um, I think everything what I like is an is inspiration for me. Mm -hmm. So it's also that um, familiarity when, when you take a tune that people know that, or, or a, a part of music that people know to then change it into your own. Yes, I really like it and it makes, um, sense to me to um to do it like that He was talking about, um, you know, the the choreographers who came before and the work that they've done, and that that's almost a stepping stone to what he's doing now. And so um, maybe that's the same thing, or the, maybe it's that's the same idea that you have or that you see. Yeah, I think perhaps it's um, a new way in art and music to work. Um, to find, I think it's really free, and I think it's really good that it's like that, that it becomes like that. That um, I think perhaps it's especially a German thing to. Um, I have to do it like that. I oh, really, <laughs> I really like it to um, to do it more free, and I'm really happy about that. It becomes more free for 
um, more artists, musicians, um, writers, and painters. I think in each um, aspect of art, it becomes more free in that way. Do you ever um, doubt yourself in in the sense that you write something and then you think, um, will people like it or will it be, uh, you know, with with the pressure of other musicians, would this be acceptable to do? Um, or are you more free and think, well, this is what I want to do? When I look really deep inside my soul, I think, yeah, of course there are doubts. Um, but they are not as strong that they um, make make me handle. Okay. Mm. Um, but of course they are there. Of mm. course. Um, so you can override them and just put it out there. It's hard to say yes, but I, I hope so. <laughs> 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 but uh, was it easy for you, your first composition, was it easy for you to put it out there? Um, no, it was not easy. Um, it was, there was the moment what um, that I wanted to compose something. And at first I just wanted to do it, but I was not able to do it. It's like so someone wants to um, paint and he is always thinking and um, not really able to start. And um, But I think it was so strong to, to want to do that, that um, the moment came. And the more you do that, you, um, as more easy it becomes, I think. I think. Yeah, I think for young composers or for new composers, it's so important to know that that mm -hmm. happens because it's, I wonder if sometimes that's, uh, you know, that they feel that mm -hmm. it shouldn't be. But then if somebody like you say, mm -hmm. you know what, this is part of, this is part of the process. This is what happens, yes. you know, but just go and, and do it. Mm -hmm. Yes. I think um, there's a kind of flow and it's important not to think, but you cannot learn that it's um, it's a kind of being self self confident and um, yeah, um, you have just to do and not to think. I think that's the point. And there are a lot of things you can know, but they but they can they can help you. But more important is really just doing it without thinking about it. Yes, mm. it's, it's my experience. Yeah. yeah, but that's great that you say that because I think that's inspiring for other people as well, you know, for mm. other musicians as well. But uh, I saw also that you play the harp guitar. I've never seen that instrument since, uh, you know, and, and I saw it on your Instagram for the first mm. time. So tell me about this instrument and why are you interested in playing it? Um, I have contacts to lots of guitar builders and harp guitars they are raw but they are there um you can find them especially in i think in um great britain in america canada okay. um, with the folk background and um i saw this instrument by a friend of mine oliver clapboard he's a guitar builder and um i had to demonstrate it on a kind of um, performance where um, different guitars were be shown. And I had to play on it and I was thinking, oh God, what, what can I do now? <laughs> <laughs> and we're talking, we're talking about classical guitar. My musically, as musical education base is a classical guitar. So I'm not as strong in improvising something i can but not really on a professional way but i had to do that because there was no piece for that instrument and the instrument helped me to do it because it was so inspiring as it has um six unusual um, strings guitar strings and then there are four bass strings and 12 harp strings they um you can play it like a harp but you can also use it as um, for a resonance, um, like the pedal on the piano. It's really lots of fun. It was lots of work to handle it, um, 